Okay, so welcome back. This video will be talking about on how to output the screen, the name of the process and process ID of the processes. So in a previous video, we have talked about process 32 first and about the PE32 structure. So the process entry 32. So in that video, I have described that this entry is a list of containing the, the system addresses and spaces when the snapshot was taken okay so, so how do we load the data that we got from this structure okay so we simply use the dot okay so for example i want to get the file name of the first process so i just do pe32.sdexe file and i call std on the other hand if we want to show the process id we cannot simply just push the offset of the pe32 H32 process ID because the TH32 process ID is a D word and as you know in ASAM32 we cannot output D words to the terminal okay so what we need to do is use DW2A so this stands for D word to ASCII so what we need to do is convert the process ID that we got from PE32.TH32 process ID into ASCII okay so it will get stored here in the variable process underscore ID and after converting the D word to ASCII we can just simply call std out on the process ID okay so let's save project so we'll build all errors so let's open up a terminal and let's run test that so as you can see the PE32SXE file does not show. So we only see a number here, which is the process ID. So this is due to we are not initializing the size of process NT32. So what we need to do is to add a move from size of process NT32 going to the PE32 structure dot DW size. Okay, so let's try again. Save. Project. No errors again. Let's rerun our code. So, as you can see, we get system process Z. Okay, so take note this is only the first process because we have only process 32 first here. Okay, so just to prove that this is really the first process in our system, we can open up another terminal CMD and we can execute the command task list. And as you can see, it will list all the processes. And the first one is system process, and it has a process ID of. Okay, so that is how you show the process name and process ID in Masam32. And I hope to see you again next time.